Chakanoi. Chakanoi. What's the story? Chakanoi. Raymond Mayfair River and a Heffalump Island by Daniel Eroko. Mayfair and Mayfair River turned, tuned up his ship. He checked every latch, he fixed every drip. It is time for his voyage to deep outer space, as he always hoped to find some unknown place. Raylan flew his ship up and out of the Earth's atmosphere. He flew past Saturn's rings and beyond the icy Pluto. After flying for a long time, he came upon a small planet. He decided it was time to go exploring. The planet was made up of two islands, separated by an ocean. One island was very colourful, the other was brown and dull. Raymond sat to sit down on the shore of the colourful island. He saw a large creature sleeping on the beach, and a belly that looked like a bit of sleeping for at least a day. Excuse me, said Raymond as he approached the large creature. The large creature just snored. Ahem, excuse me, said Raymond a little bit louder. The creature just rolled over. Excuse me, said Raymond as he jumped on his belly. The large creature looked up and looked sat up and looked at Raymond. Here's I, Raymond Mayfeather, ever space is a traveller extraordinaire, earth diplomat and friend to all aliens. Would you mind telling me where I am and what kind of creature you are? I am an elephant. You are an elephant island and you're blocking my sunlight. Tell me, sorry, says Raymond. What are the, the, those trees I see? on your island he asks they are the thingy marlin trees they grow all over the island and nowhere else we elephants love the taste of thingy melons oh, I see said Raymond and who lives on the other island where on your planet the druids live there said the elephant they don't have any thingy melons or any food at all really the only plants that grow on their island are small green shrubs that are not good for eating Instead, they try hard to catch fish in the shallow water, but there are never many to go. There are not never many to go round. It seems like you are oh, a lot of figgy melons," said Raymond. "So how many? So many you could offer some to druids? Impossible," said the elephant. "Figgy melons grow here, not there. The druids do not deserve our melons. They are for us and nobody else. Now I'm going to finish my nap. If you don't mind, Raymond." May you feather? Raymond tried to correct, correct him. Actually, my name is... The elephant was already asleep. Raymond started to look around Heffalant Island. He saw there were many, many figgy melon trees. He cracked one open and saw there were very large seeds inside. Judging from the seeds he saw on the beach, he included elephants, split them out from their large snouts. It is then that Raymond had an idea. If the elephants don't help the druids, then I will do it for them, thought Raymond. He went to his spaceship and brought out his tools. He worked for hours and hours. When he finished, he built a boat out of figgy melon trees. The elephant woke up and saw that Raymond had done. Are you trying to steal our figgy melons in a boat? You know, Heffalant? Of course not, said Raymond. A boat such as it is, this could only fit a few figgy melons inside. Surely not enough to make a difference to anyone. This boat is my gift to you. You can get rid of your pesky figgy seeds. Do you, why not take them the, the, on this boat and dump them on Druid's Island? Garbage doesn't belong to your fair island. It's, it was much suited for theirs. They can fish in the deep water as you go. Besides, surely you're meant to be better fishermen than Druids as well. Hmm, it does make sense, said the elephant. Raymond walked along the beach and collected all the figgy seeds he could find, and his, they had been spit out by the heffalumps. The heffalump took this opportunity to take a well-deserved nap inside the boat. When Raymond had filled up the boat the figgy seeds, he wrote up the heffalump. You worked very hard today, said Raymond. Why don't you go back into your home? I'll make your first trip to dump the seeds and do his island by myself. Yes, I believe that is the best, said Everett. I'll go and tell the other elephants. Now I have solved a dreadful sea problem. Single handedly. 
Raymond set a sail immediately, hoping he'd see the last of that particular elephant. He arrived and drew his shore. He was greeted by a friendly druid, about to travel back to his village for a long, from a long day of fishing. Hello, said the druid. Since you were a guest of druid's order, may I offer you a fish? No, thank you, said Raymond. I've something for you instead. From now on, the elephants will be dropping off figgy seeds, such as these on your island. Take the seeds and plant them in the ground, but don't, don't tell them what you're planting the seeds. He said, act like you're unhappy. Make sure that the seeds get plenty of sunlight and water, and you'll have all the figgy melons you can eat soon enough. I'll be heading back home, back now. Joe's was confused, but very grateful for his gift. Raymond sailed back to the elephant island as quickly as he could. He left the boat the same place that he'd set sail from, to ensure that the elephant could find it the next day. He got back in his spaceship and started up, tired from a day of belt building and sailing. He began to leave him, be leaving his silly planet. A few weeks later, the druid saw the very first fig melon tree begin to grow. Raymond may feather ever weather turn tuned up his ship. He checked every latch and he fixed every drip. His trip was now over and wrong had been righted. A taste of figure melon left him delighted. <laughs>